What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review, thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about, movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows, and it's Saturday, so I'm here talking again about Expedition Bigfoot, and uh, yeah, it was, I don't know, I don't know, it, it was good, it was a good episode. Right after they finished up their their um, expedition in the Appalachian Mountains, they ran into the Bryce ran into the shady guy at the gas station. He was like, "Hey, man, the government knows about these things living up in Washington. Seriously, I'm dead serious." So they take the you know they take the expedition to Washington. All right, and uh, that's that's really where we pick up in this episode is in Washington. They're getting ready to launch the expedition. You've got Bryce, you got uh, Maria, you've got uh, Ronnie. And, um, um, gosh, what's the other one? What's the other guy's name? I, I always forget the, uh, fourth guy's name, Ronnie, Bryce, Maria, and Russell. Russell, I should remember that, Russell. All right. So if, here's the thing about this show and them going to Washington. I think it's a great idea they're going to Washington. Absolutely great idea. If they're going to find anything, if anybody, if anybody, them, the Finding Bigfoot guys, Joe plumber on the street who's going out and looking for Sasquatch, if anybody is going to find Bigfoot, it's probably going to be in Washington. I'm just saying. It's probably going to be in Washington. Why isn't every expedition in Washington? I know why every expedition is not in Washington, because most expeditions are on TV shows, and they can't do it in the same place over and over again. they got to keep it fresh. But if anything's going to ever be found, it's going to be in Washington. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know... It, there was definitely a interesting angle that they took in this episode that I'm really surprised that no Bigfoot research show has ever done this before. It was actually brilliant. A lot of Bigfoot sightings are somebody's driving down the street and they see Bigfoot on the side of the road or they see Bigfoot crossing the street or they see Bigfoot just at the edge of the woods. That's where you get a lot of these Bigfoot sightings from is from driving down the street. So Bryce talks to some people who've had Bigfoot sightings on this street. So he says, listen, I'm going to get my car. I'm going to drive all night. And I'm going to have cameras at the front, cameras at the side, cameras at the rear. I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have the uh, heat sensor cameras. I'm going to have every kind of camera, night vision cameras. I'm going to have every kind of camera you can possibly think of attached to this car. And I'm just going to spend a night driving and see what I get. And... Did he get much? I think he might have gotten something there at the end because they cut away and they said, next time on Expedition Bigfoot. Um, so I think he caught something. It could have been anything, but I think he caught something. And uh, I just think it was a good idea. Like, holy crap, how come nobody's ever done that before? How come no researcher has ever done that before? That was a good idea. Uh, definitely, um, definitely something that brought a different level of entertainment to a show like this. It's not just walking through the woods and howling, uh, because every show does that. It was a, let's really try to get this guy. And, uh, um, like I said, a lot of, a lot of, uh, Bigfoot sightings have taken place like this. You have that one famous one where, it, uh, it was, uh, Bigfoot was caught on a police dash cam where he was driving through Washington. I think it was Washington. But he was driving through, uh, driving on the road at night and he saw something big cross the road in like three strides. <laughs> And, uh, and that one is a real famous Bigfoot sighting. And as far as I know, it has not been debunked as a hoax. I think that that's still kind of standing up as, hey, it was something. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely an interesting angle, and I enjoyed having an interesting angle. Uh, that was, that was a, it was a good idea. It was a good, solid idea. Uh, Ronnie, Maria, and Russell, they go on their own expedition. You've got uh, Ronnie, of course, doing his... Uh, his hiking, survivalist type hiking that he does with Russell and Maria going on their, um, their expedition where they look for him through the woods, look for him at night, etc., etc. Not really finding anything here. Don't really uncover a lot. What was really interesting to me this episode was Bryce's idea to hit the road. Um, this was kind of a reset for the season. Yeah, the first part of the season took place on the Appalachian Trail. Nothing really happened. They didn't find really find anything of note. And then they kind of reset it to where it looks like the second half of the season is going to take place in Washington. And just based on the, 
this season on Expedition Bigfoot. Just based on that stuff, it looks like there's going to at least be some interesting things they're going to uncover. So I'm looking forward to seeing what comes the rest of the season. Not a whole lot this episode. This episode is a lot of setup, but again, entertaining. These are some entertaining hosts, and I had a good time watching it. So that's where I'm at on finding, or sorry, on Expedition Bigfoot. Have I been saying Finding Bigfoot? I hope not. Um, that's where we're at on Expedition Bigfoot Season 2, Episode 7. It was kind of a reset. So, what did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your take on it. While you're down there, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the OQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.